Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome to your daily read. We're going to talk about Tuesday, December 6th, 2022. I do want to remind you, as always, this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So just take what resonates and let's leave the rest behind. But we're going to do some shuffling and begin by pulling from the Prism Oracle deck and see what we get for Tuesday. Okay, magic. And I do love that this is the purple, a purple card rather, excuse me. Uh, because in the last attempt to get this reading started, I got the intuition card, which is also purple. A very, um, a very spiritual color, to say the very least. And we also have, okay, anger. Somebody might be angry around you. I'm really not feeling that your energy is being uh, drawn to this reading. It could be. Um, apply it as you may. But these are the two overall, um, overall energies. Magic and abundance. It's going to be a beautiful Tuesday, to say the very least. Let's pull some Mystic Mondays. I feel like these two decks just pair very nicely together. The um, the bold, uh, somewhat simplistic uh, imagery, if you will. What else do we have for Tuesday? For Tuesday. I feel the need to say the abundance in uh, being specific in regards to what kind is flowing in for each individual drawn to this reading. It's going to vary from case to case. It's up to you to be aware of when it's flowing in, uh, what form it's taking, right? And to uh, be grateful for it all the meanwhile. But I do feel like there's a focus on manifesting. I'm not seeing the magician card yet, but um, I personally, this is, I wasn't meant to bring it up earlier on in the reading. Um, I have been manifesting recently uh, a lot in my life, a lot of important changes and developments and it feels so damn good and it reminds me of the power of myself as an individual so that's going to take a focus to at least an extent for you personally throughout this day um ace of pentacles and four of pentacles spirit saying some of you are taking um putting efforts towards um or even reflecting upon um getting a new job so you can save up some more money it could be in regards to money flowing in specifically for you in regards to saving money. There could be a specific goal coming to mind or coming to be in general, okay? Um, let's buckle down, but I just feel like Spirit's reminding you throughout this day, whatever goal this is for you, okay, whatever, even if it's just to see an increase in your savings. Some of you, it's a specific amount, right? Some of you, it's to um, make sure you can purchase something in the future. You're golden. Okay, there's a magical level of protection um, backing you up, even supporting you, pushing you towards uh, an opportunity or just the money in general and even attracting it in. Okay, abundance. But um, you're going to be reminded of a past decision, even a past, um, for some, a past balancing act you went through because it feels like a similar one is upcoming on the horizon. How did you make the best? How did you do it with such ease and comfort? Or just how did you deal with the difficulties of it all the meanwhile? This um, process of reflecting and coming up with certain key points, um, a realization or remembering, or both, it, it's important for what's um, about to come to be in the, the near future, okay? Um, regardless of how that comes to be for you. But we have the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Fool card, and Justice for you uh, for the main spread. And the Seven of Wands, I feel like a lot's coming towards you, but it could definitely be positive. Spirit's saying this could also be in regards to your spirituality. So if that's the case, take a deep breath because that can feel a bit overwhelming, right? Um, bear with me as I'm just adjusting the camera. But um, interesting, I just did that. I feel like some of you might feel the need to put your hand up, even if it's positive to say I need to catch my breath or that's too much, okay? Um, the magic of saying no is what I just heard. The magic of saying no, interesting. Um, but now I'm being shown with this imagery, interesting enough, I'm being shown a third eye opening, okay? A third eye opening. I think that's actually the intuition imagery for that deck. But the Emperor and the King of Wands, what you create and develop throughout this day, uh, it, I don't wanna say reflects, but it, it allows for your strength to shine through whatever that is for you. It allows for you to express your passion for whatever that is. You could even be finding a spark of 
renewed or just passion in general for something you've been working towards um, or for something new. And Spirit's saying, isn't that a magical process? Okay, watch people be even more impressed than they once were or people turn their heads or just tune in and now they're impressed even if they once weren't. Okay, that just reminds you the magic of your consistency and the magic of not giving up. Okay, and how all of which that we've been talking about tied into that magic card leads you towards different levels of abundance. Okay, let it rain on in and let people uh, feel hungry for more. Okay, um, but the Fool card and the Justice card talking about how it's time for you to acquire even more justice in regards to a leap of faith that's lying on the horizon. And I feel like that reflecting and realizing once again definitely ties into that. Okay. Um, and it could even, again, all be the same situation we're preparing you for, okay? You may have already acquired that situation, but it hasn't started yet, or you're in the beginning stages of just that, right? It's going to timeline-wise vary from case to case as well, but I just feel like there's a lot of good to expect throughout this specific day, but more so in regards to the upcoming days, weeks, months, spirit saying, get ready for 2023. Um, not to say there isn't a lot of good to experience and, um, and growth and development throughout the rest of this month, but yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of good to expect, okay? Um, what else do we want to pull? Let's pull some tea leaf. Let's put the tarot away. Bear with me. Don't be surprised if there's random moments of smiling throughout this day. I mean with what we've been talking about it just feels like um it's well deserved even with what you've been going through i just feel like you kind of want to to an extent shake somebody or shake multiple people to kind of get them into a state of awakening or just realizing feeling like they're a bit blinded or just not really connected to the full reality of a situation or just what's taking place i would just separate oneself from that feeling um quite quickly let that go it's not worth it because it's not really going to be possible it feels um okay i'm not taking that card some of you might have involvement with the law um let's see here we have great good fortune absolutely beautiful great good fortune and i mean these cards just seem to go beautifully together right abundance and great good fortune sense of luck on your side as I lose my breath a little bit we have dealings a relationship with an older woman connecting with an older woman um, or preparation to cross paths with this older woman in the upcoming days but I also feel like there's a stubborn aggressive person around you and I really feel like that's the person we were just speaking upon before not the older woman but the um, the one you want to kind of shake into um, a better version a better view of reality or just of you in general is what they're saying. Um, and so a sincere wish will be granted. Absolutely beautiful. A sincere wish. And we also have great worry over nothing. It just feels like some of you, this might be taking place throughout this day, even with all the positives and um, the success and the abundance flowing in the magical vibe about the day. But for some of you, this is a day that reminds you, and even I want to say potentially the previous day or two, um, that reminds you, See, whatever you're worrying about, there's nothing to be concerned about, right? Um, not to say you weren't valid to an extent to feel the way you're feeling or even currently, but things are working out, okay? Acknowledge what there is to be acknowledged in a positive light, um, in a successful light, and just notice that everything will come to be, flow in and change, develop, uh, prosper when it's meant to, okay? Um, it's a day that reminds you the magic in it all, right? And it's a day that you're reminded you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. For some of you, it's multiple. And I feel the need to say with this arrow, you're being reminded throughout the specific day that you're going to hit a target, okay? And that target will lead to another target, okay? And you just are being reminded that as long as you trust in the magic of oneself and the magic of how things are meant to transform and proceed, develop, and embrace and feel grateful for the abundance and let oneself manifest even more changes in your life, you will find that you are just hitting target after target after target, all right? It's a day once again full of magic, full of abundance, 
full of uh, reminders that things are falling into place. Uh, in the midst of doing some reflecting and developing, creating, and some preparation all the meanwhile. All right, get ready for more. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light. Uh, go enjoy your Tuesday, and I'll see you next time.